Tuesday and Wednesday last week will go down in the history when the country recorded a senseless death of a number of Ugandans. There was space of violence following a protest at the arrest of presidential candidate Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu. As this trend of events unfolded, Uganda's development partners were saddened by what they saw, the reversal of gains in the democratization process of Uganda. It is not an exaggeration to state that many Ugandans, as well as many development partners, including ourselves, are deeply saddened by the events of last week that struck this country and overall the regrettable violence against civilian by security agents during this entire ongoing electoral period. We see progress in the activities implemented, but on the other hand, we also see disturbing incidents and pictures in the media. They say human rights were violated by the very institution that were supposed to protect Ugandans. Consequently, the donors demand for speedy investigations and trial of the alleged perpetrators of the crimes. We are troubled by these incidences and sincerely hope and request that all culprits will soon be brought before justice. In response, the Attorney General William Biarohanga went on the record as the first government official to acknowledge the security agency's mess up in querying the riots. However, he urged Ugandans to remain tolerant to each other. That one would be dishonest not to acknowledge, because we all witnessed them on our television screens. In that context, we need to take a long and hard look at ourselves and do our duties as men and women of responsibility from both sides of the aisle. And of course, recognize that Uganda is bigger than any one of us. The Chief Justice Alfonso Winidoro promised that Uganda will finally emerge out with peaceful and fair elections. From the perspective of the justice sector, we shall endeavor to ensure that the elections are conducted in a safe and secure environment that protects every Ugandan's democratic rights. The justice law and other sector jurors is comprised of 18 institutions, including the judiciary, police, prisons, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Minister of Internal Affairs, DPP, Uganda Human Rights Commission, among others. The sector largely depends on donors for 70% of its budget, which is worth 1.8 trillion shillings. The general report reveals that despite a number of positive gains in the sector, the case backlog remains a big challenge in the judiciary, with 140,000 cases pending in courts. This means suspects spend more than six months on remand. The lockdown that we had in the past six or so months, it means we have lost out. Despite that challenge, we were able even to dispose of 37,641 cases that have been in the system uh, for more than uh, two years. King of Francis, NTV.